This week we introduce work and energy, and also power, which is the rate of doing work. These words, work, energy, power, are used to mean many different things in everyday language, but sometimes they are used in the physical sense. We can both tell that I'm doing work here. The work done is proportional to the force that I apply. It's also proportional to the distance over which I apply the force. The trolley is supplying the force now, the normal force, but it's not doing work because it hasn't moved. The angle is also important. No work's being done on the bags here because the force and the displacement are at right angles. Here's a definition of work. If constant force F is applied over a displacement S with an angle theta between them, the work done W equals Fs cos theta. You can think of this in two different ways. F times S cos theta, in other words, F times the component of S in the direction of F. Or you could think of it as S times F cos theta, S times the component of F in the direction of S. This is what we call a scalar product of vectors. Although f and s are vectors, work is a scalar. It doesn't have a direction. Its units are joules. A newton times a metre is a joule. You know how big a metre is? And a newton is a fairly small force, the weight of this mandarin. So a joule, a metre times a newton, is not much work. More about that in a moment. But first, something that requires care. We use the letter W for both work and weight. Usually we can tell them apart easily because weight is a vector and its units are newtons. Work is a scalar and its units are joules. Let's answer a question for practice. 